2nd of February, 1977. During Holy Mass at the Intercessory, prayers the light came over the altar and the priests, and then spread slowly over all the people present, and I heard, Yes, verily, may the light come down upon you all. At the consecration, the light shone only over the altar and the priests, and we seemed to be in the shade, and I heard, This is my body, which has been sacrificed for you, and wants to live within you. My sons, take me again among the people. Then the light radiated again over all those present. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision and heard. Come, follow me and understand all this rightly. At once I stood in a large plain and in its center, there was a temple from ancient times. The columns were somewhat crumbled. On the top of the columns at the front, I saw a triangular tympan, ornamented with all sorts of figures. Big, stone steps lay before the temple and inside I saw a tiled floor. From the clouds hanging above, I heard the voice complaining, Ahab! Ahab! Then this vision disappeared, and instead of this temple I saw St. Peter's. A huge spider wove a large cobweb which covered the whole front of St. Peter's. Dark clouds were hanging in the sky, and from these clouds the voice called in an even more lamenting tone, as of a dying person. My sons, my sons! Why did you forsake me? My people, my people! Why did you forsake me? Come back to your true doctrine, within the true church. On hearing this, I felt a great sadness in my heart. Then I realized that something was going on in the Vatican. I could not see what was happening. All at once, the cobweb disappeared from St. Peter's, and above in the sky, I saw a beautiful rainbow with lustrous colors. And I heaved a sigh of relief. Then everything faded away. The light was still shining over all of us, and now also slowly disappeared. I thanked the Lord and said, Dear Lord, how thankful we should be, that you show to the little ones we are, the way we have to go. These words came spontaneously from my heart, 11th of February, 1977. At the consecration, the light came over the altar and the priest. Then it spread slowly over those present. I also saw a special light shining over the painting of the Lady of All Nations. Both lights stayed until the end of Holy Mass. 25th of March, 1977. During Holy Mass at the Offertory, the light came over all of us, and I heard, May the heavenly light, come down upon you all. At the preface, I saw the painting of the Lady of All Nations suffused with light. At the consecration, the light was shining only over the altar and the priest, but as the consecration was over, it spread again over all those present. On receiving our Lord I had a heavenly vision. I heard the voice say, You human being, come and follow me, watch and understand all this well. The light went ahead of me, and I came into a mountainous landscape. I knew inwardly, it is here from bygone ages. In front of me stood a bearded man who held a big stone in his hand. Then I saw stones appearing on the ground, all bearing a number. I counted from one to ten. The voice spoke to me. Watch well what has happened. I heard a tremendous noise and I saw all the stones having been pounded to grit, and the voice spoke. They have trampled them down and crushed them. Come along, we will go on. Then it was as if I had to take a great step and I found myself in quite a different time. In front of me, I saw a great old man with delicate features. In one hand he held a scroll. He raised his arms and I saw that he was looking at something. The voice spoke to me. Watch, what he is looking at. I looked in the same direction as the gray-haired man, and saw a heavenly, glorified lady totally flooded with the light, and surrounded by heavenly beings. That image disappeared and I saw the figures, 3, 10, 12, moving past. Again I heard the voice speaking. Follow me. It seemed to me as if I had to take another great step and I heard inwardly. You will find yourself now in quite a different era. And I saw ruins of temples, idols, havoc, emptiness, 
and apostasy. The voice spoke. Come, we go on. Again I beheld a mountainous landscape and some men standing there. And the voice said. They are twelve, only count them. My shepherd, understand all this rightly. To me, the voice said. Come, follow me. While the light was constantly going ahead of me, I heard inwardly. Now, again, you are in a quite different epic. I saw before me a radiating veil, which opened slowly. A magnificent ripening cornfield stretched before my eyes. In its center, stood the picture of the Lady of all nations, and round its frame, beautiful vines full of ripened grapes were hanging. Over the picture appeared the figures, one, nine, five, nine. I heard inwardly. Time is in full bloom. And I heard the voice say. Watch, what she has been sent for. Follow me. Then all at once I stood before a black veil which opened, and I heard a noise as the cutting off at the branch, and I saw the great vines falling down one by one. It made a piercing, awful noise. Round about, I saw a huge ruin of churches. I felt a terrible despondency, lassitude and, worst of all, emptiness in my heart. I heard the voice say in a plaintive tone. Matters have gone so far as that. Times repeat themselves again, as it was in bygone days. But, follow me. And again I stood before a white veil, which opened very slowly. And in front of me I saw the Vatican. Everywhere small groups of sheep were wandering about idle in the square. Suddenly, the sheep changed into small groups of people, and I felt that there was a difference among the people. The voice called in a plaintive tone. They are divided and dispersed. You, my supreme pastor, Cephas, I give you the power, bring back the flock into unity. Do not let them go astray. Then, peace and quiet will come back. And again the light went ahead of me. I came into an endless plain. On the horizon, appeared the numbers, two, zero, zero, zero. Then everything slowly disappeared from my view. I thanked the Lord and said, Dear Lord, Please enlighten my mind, I cannot understand all this, it is so difficult. Whereupon, the voice replied. Communicate this. And I had to answer, Amen, 7th of April, 1977. Maundy Thursday. During the adoration of the blessed sacrament, I saw the light coming from the four corners of the chapel, and shining over those present. It kept shining during the celebration of Holy Mass. At the consecration, however, it shone only over the altar and the priest, but afterwards, it spread again over all those present. 10th of April, 1977. Easter Sunday. At the offertory, the light came from the four corners of the chapel and shone over the altar and the priest. Then it spread over all those present. At the consecration. I saw the light shining only over the altar and the priest. And, it was as if we were in the shade. The consecration passed, the light spread again over all the people present. In the night of the 5th to the 6th of May, 1977. After falling asleep, I suddenly came fully awake, and I was not able to get to sleep again. All the time I heard inwardly, Maccabees. I could not imagine its meaning. Then I heard as much as three times. Read the Maccabees. Read the Maccabees. Read the Maccabees. At that time it was three o'clock, and I fell asleep again, 12th of May, 1977. During Holy Mass, when receiving our Lord, and while the light was shining over all of us, I heard. The red veins are still moving onward. This was said in German. Hearing these words, I saw small red streamlets running. 19th of May, 1977. Ascension Day. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, the light came from the four corners of the chapel, over all those present and the priest and the altar. At the consecration, however, the light shone only over the altar and the priest, and the people present were in the shade. After the consecration, the light spread again over all of us. While receiving our Lord, 
I heard a voice say, Blessed are you who believe in me, may the Spirit descend upon you. At the end of Holy Mass, the light slowly faded away. 29th of May, 1977. Whit Sunday. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, I heard a tremendous noise coming, which filled the whole chapel. I looked around to see what was going on and I saw three beams of light shining over the altar and the priest. They kept shining over the priest during the whole of the creed, and then spread slowly as one glorious light over all those present. It stayed until the end of Holy Mass. 31st of May, 1977. During Holy Mass, at the creed. The light came from the four corners of the chapel and spread slowly over the altar, the priests and the people present. At the consecration, the light shone only over the priests and the altar. The light was like a threefold beam with one ray shining over each of the priests. Afterwards, the rays gathered again to become one light, and it was as if those present were in the shade. At the elevation of the sacred host and the chalice, a voice came from that light saying, Thus it shall remain for all eternity, tell this to your theologians. And the light spread again over all those present. When receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. A wonderful light went ahead of me and I heard, Come, follow me. Now I saw an endless space before me, and the voice said, Human child, I have shown you all the ages of history. They are now living again in the middle of them. Watch attentively and understand me rightly. Now, the Maccabees are coming forth. And again I heard, Come, follow me. Then, all at once, I was standing before a large gate which I took to be made of bronze. The voice spoke, This one will not yet be opened, but, there is a great event in store for the church. And I seemed to see and feel shifts and movements behind the gate. After that, the wonderful light went on ahead of me until I came before a black gate, and the voice said, An important event is also to be expected for your country as well as for other countries. Keep that in mind. The gate opened slowly, and I heard, Now enter, human child, come into your own era. It is the same whirlpool as in former times. I have already shown you the pictures of destruction, strife, quarrel, in death. Then I saw all the peoples of the world and above all this, the bust of a pope. And from the sky the voice spoke. This is my command to you. Do gather them. It is a heavy task to be taken on your shoulders, but I have given you my golden thread. Accept it and you will see the re-blooming. To me the voice said. Come, human being, follow me. Then I stood before a closed gate. It was gold-colored. I heard, Come into my garden. As the gate slowly opened, I was allowed to enter, following the light. How beautiful it was there, defies all description. The light, that all the time had gone ahead of me, now grew even more radiant and glorious, and was shining over the whole garden. I saw fine heavenly flowers and greenery. A heavenly scent was spreading and I heard heavenly music. At the back of this garden, I saw the glorified lady, resplendently beautiful. She was flooded with light. It is impossible for me to describe how I felt and what came over me. I cannot explain it better. I was allowed to stay there for a long time and to behold it all. Then, everything faded away. I thanked the Lord in all humility and said, Dear Lord, I don't know why I have deserved all this. And I heard, Amen. Holy Mass was about to end and the light slowly disappeared, 15th of August, 1977. During Holy Mass, the light came over the altar and the priest, at the offertory, I heard, My blessing come down upon all of you. Remain faithful to her whom I have sent. After receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision. The voice spoke to me, Come, follow me. And I was going on a long road with a radiant figure ahead of me. Then the voice said to me, Once more you are allowed to see her, in all her heavenly glory. While these words were spoken, a golden gate opened before me and I saw the glorified lady in a powerful light, 
and so supremely beautiful. As the gate was slowly being closed, I heard, The struggle will come, but, she will gain victory. And with the light again ahead of me, I went back, all that long road. Now the voice spoke, Watch and understand. In front of me stood a fountain, but it did not spout. The water in the basin was dirty, swampy and muddy. Near the basin I saw, large baskets filled with bits of moldy bread. Beside them stood a stone sacrificial altar, but the fire was dead. And the voice spoke, You, my sons, understand your task. Make the water pure again. Thereupon, all at once, I saw the fountain spouting fine limpid water. The voice said, The bread too must be made pure again. Now I saw in the baskets white sacred hosts, which radiated light. The voice continued, and blow, the fire again and keep it burning. And I saw bright, pure flames getting up on the sacrificial altar. Now the voice said to me, Tell them that all of this must be restored. Tell them, that only then it will be all right. Then everything disappeared slowly from my view. The light was still shining over all of us, 27th of August, 1977. During Holy Mass, after receiving our Lord, I heard. Ich warne auf Hardy auf Stay. These words were spoken in German. The English translation is. I warn, for the Baltic. Note, the Baltic states, also known as the Baltic countries, Baltic republics, Baltic nations, or simply, the Baltics, are the three countries in Northern Europe on the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. The light was shining over all of us from the offertory till the end of Holy Mass. Again on the 27th of August, 1977. During Holy Mass at the offertory, the light came over the altar and the priest. Then it spread slowly over all those present and stayed till the end of Holy Mass. After receiving our Lord, I heard two times, inwardly, in a lamenting tone, Ahab, Ahab. 8th of December, 1977. During Holy Mass, the light came at the creed, when the words, Similador, were pronounced. It was shining over the altar and then the priest and then spread slowly over all those present. During the consecration, the light was shining only over the altar and the priest, and we were in the shade. At the elevation of the sacred host and the chalice, I saw, a glittering letter M, appear within the light over the altar. It radiated on all sides. After the consecration, that M, disappeared very slowly, and the light spread again over all the people present. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass. On receiving our Lord, I heard the voice saying, Do not fear, my faithful ones, I am with you. Addressing to me, the voice continued, I have shown you the ages of history. They are right in the thick of happenings. The voice stopped for a moment, and said, Do not be distressed, see what will happen. The force of the prayer will have its effect. Watch well. Suddenly, I was placed in a large square. In its center I saw a high pillar. At one side of that pillar stood a stylized lily, and at the other side, a large letter A, interlaced with a large letter M. Then men and women and young people came running along from both sides. It looked like an army. One group posted itself behind the lily, the other group behind that A, and M. More and more men, women and young people came from all directions and gathered around the pillar. While the flag was being hoisted to the top, everyone looked at it. The colors of the flag were white and yellow, and in the flag's center, I saw an emblem which I could not distinguish clearly, because the flag was hanging down. Out of the clouds the voice spoke, My armies are ready for action. Do not be afraid. I shall gain victory. Listen well, my faithful ones. I shall gain victory. Now all people posted themselves in front of the pillar so as to form the pattern of an enormous eagle, with widespread wings. It was a marvelous spectacle on a grand scale. Then everything disappeared slowly from my view, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of December, 
1977. During three successive days, I repeatedly heard inwardly the name, Felici. 1st of January, 1978. During Holy Mass, the light appeared at the Creed, while the words, the word was made flesh, were being said. I saw the painting of the Lady in full light, too. After receiving our Lord, I saw a shelf with piled up old books, their backs turned towards me. And I heard the voice calling, The laws will be fulfilled. Then the vision disappeared slowly, but the light kept shining over all of us till the end of Holy Mass, 2nd of February, 1978. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, the light came over the altar and the priest and then over all those present. At the consecration I saw the light shining as a large bunch of rays over the altar and the priest, while we were in the shade. At the elevation of the sacred host, a beautiful radiant, M, appeared in that light and disappeared slowly after the elevation of the chalice. From then, the light spread again over all those present. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I heard, This is a blessed day. And I felt how the blessing came down over all of us and how it filled the whole chapel. Then the voice spoke, Come, follow me. Watch you well and concentrate. I will take you to the waters. I was standing in front of a large water lake. From the light that was going ahead of me, I saw an arm and hand emerging. This hand was stretched out over the lake and divided the water into two parts, one to the right, and one to the left side. And a pathway came free in the middle. I now saw the radiant figure standing in that pathway, and I heard, Watch well. At the same time, the water on the left hand side of the pathway had changed into a large, muddy swamp. From the bank I saw crocodiles, snakes, vipers, and other reptiles creeping in. They lifted their heads out of the swamp and it seemed as if they were swallowing up everything I saw, disappearing in it, people, buildings, and churches. All of it vanished into the depth of that swamp, but for the small spires of a few church towers, which here and there were sticking out. The radiant figure spoke. This is the scum. This has happened. But watch. And now I saw the right hand part of the lake, with very clear, smoothly rippling water, like crystal. I heard the voice saying, This is the water of the revival. Listen. Like the bride took her son to the father, so you must take your little ones to him, who is. He is the beginning and the cope stone. After the words, he is the beginning of the cope stone, I saw a church and a building rising from that water on the right side. They were St. Peter's and the Vatican. While seeing lips with a finger put across them, I heard the voice saying in a suppressed tone, The strife and the struggle for the true doctrine is still going on. Be careful, preserve it, and do not renounce it. All the while I saw St. Peter's and the Vatican. The voice resumed. Something is going to happen there. Then everything disappeared slowly from my sight but the light stayed till the end of Holy Mass. At the beginning of Holy Mass, the light came over the altar, the priest and all those present. At the consecration, when the sacred host was held up for adoration, I saw a radiant letter, M, appearing in that light, with a small cross on the four corners. After the elevation of the chalice, the letter M, faded away. When receiving our Lord, I very clearly heard the voice saying, Rejoice, blessed be, this covenant. At the end of Holy Mass, the light slowly disappeared. 23rd of March, 1978. Maundy Thursday. During adoration, I saw the light coming over the altar and spreading slowly over all those present. When receiving our Lord, during Holy Mass, the sacred host lived on my tongue and I tasted flows of delicious water. On consuming the sacred host, I had a heavenly vision. I saw a very large, radiant sacred host, emitting white fire on all sides. Then it was as if heaven opened. Heavenly beings came down and gathered around the sacred host, and many of them knelt before it. I heard the voice saying in an almost imploring tone, 
my Cephas, my apostles, my priests, let a new fire blaze in this darkness. The words, new fire were pronounced with special emphasis. The voice continued, let the fire burn your hearts, and let it shine all around again. These words, too, were said with emphasis. The light will assist you in these dark times. Now I saw the light growing still brighter around the sacred host, and the voice spoke again. And you, my people, open your mouth and your heart, so that your Lord may enter and animate you. I felt as if an invisible hand were being put on my shoulder and the voice said to me, You, human child, the Spirit has touched you. He will enlighten you. It was all such a mighty heavenly experience that I am not able to describe or explain it better. Then everything faded slowly away and I thank the Lord saying, Who am I, my Lord, to be allowed to live to see all this? The voice said, Amen, 25th of March, 1978, Easter Saturday night. At about 11 o'clock, at night, I went to sleep. After having said some prayers, I had the following experience. I was walking in Jerusalem, I was told inwardly, among a busy crowd of all kinds of people. They seemed to be in a hurry. Suddenly, I saw a person going ahead of me. He was dressed in a white robe. The light was around him. Looking over his shoulder, he said to me, Come, follow me. We walked through several narrow streets, going up and down, and finally arrived at a low wall, in which there was an entrance, a kind of gate. But there was no door in it. The radiant person said to me, It is still the 25th of March. Wait here for me. He went through the gateway, and I remained waiting. Yet I cast a glance inside and said inwardly, Ah, this is a garden, for I saw all sorts of pointed green trees and other oriental vegetation. While I was still waiting, the same radiant person suddenly came back through the little gate. He was carrying a peculiar type of dish in his hands and said to me, I give you the living Pascha. I knelt down and folded my hands, and I got a sacred host on my tongue. It began to move and to live. Then he spoke, I give you the living water. I took a sip from the little dish that was held before me and I tasted liquids of such an extraordinary sweet flavor, as it is difficult to describe. The radiant person went back inside and left me alone in ineffable bliss. Then everything faded away. I looked at my alarm clock, it was exactly 5 minutes to 12. Almost midnight, 3rd of April, 1978. Celebration of Lady Day. At the offertory during Holy Mass, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest and, gradually over all people present. At the consecration, a beautiful brilliant cross appeared within the light above the altar. That cross faded away, and in its stead, came a radiant letter, M, surmounted by a bright white dove which radiated white fire in all directions. Suddenly, the dove came down and stayed hovering in front of that letter M. All this happened during the consecration. The light stayed till the end of Holy Mass. In the night of the 7th to the 8th of April, 1978. While I could not get to sleep, I heard the sound of trumpets time and again. It was the same sound of trumpets as is heard when the Pope enters St. Peter's or the Loggia, on the occasion of solemnity. Later on, I heard this sound also in date time, during a couple of successive days, 31st of May, 1978. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, the light came over the altar and the priest and, gradually, over all those present. At the consecration I heard, Be faithful to its true doctrine. Bring my people to me and I will feed their souls. At my Holy Communion, I had a heavenly vision. I saw the whole world before me and I heard, They have ravaged my church and chased my followers into wilderness. What I saw before me was all great chaos, and I suffered a dreadful spiritual pain because of it. The voice spoke. Watch well, and understand rightly everything I will show you. And I had to watch, a lugubrious spectacle. I saw several large buildings. 
I recognized one of them as the side wall of the Vatican. The other buildings were seminaries and universities. From all these buildings, I saw priests and clergymen coming out. I got frightened because their faces looked like heads of foxes, wolves and hyenas. They came along skulking, and moved around searching, like these animals. It was a horrible sight and I shuddered down my spine. I heard the voice say, They are those who have led my people into wilderness, and have broken up my church. Again I saw St. Peter's. A bearded man in a long garment came walking on. Over his shoulder, he had slung a kind of cloak. He was a figure from bygone ages. He stopped in front of a large bronze door, and from the sky a big golden key, hanging on a golden thread descended just before him. From on high, the voice sounded. My servant Peter, take the golden thread once more, and open the door with that key. Then, I saw the person opening the door, which was about 10 to 15 centimeters, in thickness. The person, called Peter, turned round and I saw a very long row of priests standing behind him. The voice said, Come, and follow him, all of you. The voice continued. This is my last warning to your country, as well as to other countries. And the voice said to me, You, human child, watch well. And, you will understand all this. The last words were directed to others. Heaven opened and I saw the following patterns. A large cross, with four smaller crosses, one in each corner, and, a large, M, with four small crosses, one in each corner. I heard heavenly music and I saw heavenly beings looking up at these patterns. Then rays of heavenly splendor came from the cross surrounded by the small crosses, and radiated over that, M, with its crosslets. Together, those rays gave shape to a marvelous crown on top of that, M, pattern. I was deeply impressed, and it is not possible for me to explain how glorious this vision was. Slowly. Everything disappeared. I thanked the Lord, heart and soul. Then also the light faded away, Sunday the 11th of June, 1978. During Holy Mass, after receiving our Lord, I saw lips with a finger across. Then I saw a magnificent radiant figure, and the Lord said, I will tell you a secret. Listen. Before two months will have passed, Pope Paul VI will enter eternal life. You should not tell it to anybody, not even your spiritual director, before it has happened. Keep it a secret to yourself. Then the radiant figure slowly disappeared. I thanked the Lord and said, Dear Lord, thy will be done. And the voice said, Amen. 15th of August, 1978. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, the light came over the altar and the priest, and then spread over all those present. It stayed there until the end of Holy Mass. 17th of August, 1978 This day at my Holy Communion, during Holy Mass, I heard the voice say, My blessing be upon you in this sacred residence. Be comforted, my people. Then the light that had been shining over all of us from the consecration, faded away. 28th of September, 1978 This evening, when I was watching the news on TV, at 8 o'clock, a curious thought came into my mind. Should there be any news about the Pope? Pope John Paul I. But no news came through about him. After the news report, followed advertising, and during the spots I suddenly heard inwardly, just fancy that this Pope is already dying. It gave me a fright, and I said to myself, no, that is not possible. 29th of September, 1978. In the morning, at 8.45, my spiritual director phoned me. He was told by telephone that the Pope had died during the night. He could not believe it. Immediately, I switched on the radio and I heard by myself the news of his death, 7th of October, 1978. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. It did not fade away until the end of Holy Mass. When I received our Lord, 
The sacred host was moving on my tongue and I tasted flows of delicious water. Meanwhile, I heard. I bring you the living manna, and the living water. Be comforted, my daughter, watch attentively what I will show you, and convey it carefully. Then I saw a huge snake lying in a plain. It was not an ordinary snake, for it had seven heads. It was hideous to look at. The snake was wriggling and struck with its tail. A constant hissing came from the seven mouths, while the tongues were spitting out something. Suddenly, the snake shrank together as if it was struck a heavy blow, and I heard a terrible, loud report, so loud that it echoed all over the plain. Now I saw the snake writhing. Its tail rose high and gave a last blow, before it collapsed and died. It was an awful sight and I looked at it with disgust. Then the voice spoke. The last convulsion has passed. Watch what I now will show you and, try to understand it. Now I saw the plane was changing into a plane of beautiful colors and bright light. In that light, a large letter M, appeared, as if coming from heaven, it was overshadowed by a radiant dove. The voice spoke and was heard all over the plain, saying, This is the victory over whom I have sent. Be comforted, my people, I am with you all. Then everything disappeared slowly from my sight. I was deeply moved by this vision and asked myself what it might mean. I thank the Lord with these words, My Lord, I thank you, but give me wisdom to understand all this thoroughly. And the voice said, Amen. 15th of October, 1978. During Holy Mass, at Holy Communion, the light came over the altar and the priest, and then over all those present. Today was the first day of the conclave after the death of Pope John Paul I. After receiving our Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit should enlighten the minds of the Cardinals, in the choice of a new Pope. I heard the voice say, He, who comes from afar will be Peter's successor. The light faded away at the end of Holy Mass, 16th of October, 1978. During Holy Mass, before receiving our Lord, I saw the light shining over the altar and the priest, and afterwards, over all those present. Again I heard the voice say, He who comes from afar, will be Peter's successor. Then the light faded away. At night, I heard over the radio that the Polish Cardinal, Wojtyla, had been elected Pope, with the name of Pope John Paul II, 22nd of October, 1978. Inauguration of Pope John Paul II. During Holy Mass, before Holy Communion, I saw the light coming over the altar, the priest and the people present. After receiving our Lord, I heard the voice say, Come, follow me and I saw a radiant figure going ahead of me. Suddenly, I stood before a high mountain. The radiant figure pointed at it and said, You must climb this mountain, until you reach the top. First, choose your path. Now I saw on the left and on the right of the mountain, a winding path. I chose the right hand one. It was a sandy path. After making a few steps, I sank deeper and deeper into the sand so that I could proceed no further. I called, Dear Lord, I cannot walk along. The radiant figure ordered, Return. And all of a sudden, I stood again at the foot of the mountain. Now I took the path on the left. It was rough and rocky, but winding so much that it looked like a labyrinth, from which I could not find the way out. On the left side of that path, I saw a mass of ruins. I tried to go on, but I got more and more entangled in that maze, and I called, Dear Lord, please save me, I am exhausted. The radiant figure spoke. Come, I shall help you. And suddenly, I stood again at the foot of the mountain. Now I saw that a very long ladder was being placed midway against the mountain. I heard the voice say. And now go up. I mounted the ladder and in no time, arrived at the top. Then I heard the voice calling from the clouds. This period has come to an end. The tide will turn. Watch well. The face of the sundial has changed. And I saw a big sundial, standing on the top of the mountain. The hand pointed to a letter, W, 
but went slowly in the opposite direction and stopped at the letter, E, thus it turned several times, to and fro between the letter, W, and E. Next to the sundial, I saw clergymen of various oriental churches, standing near the letter, E, one of them had an icon in his hand, another, was wearing a pointed brocaded cap, and the others had different attributes. Moreover, I saw several crosses beside the sundial. Near the letter, W, stood an ordinary cross, which was very tall and radiated on all sides. A large, scintillating star surmounted the whole image, and over appeared the sign. A large P with an X, over the stem. I was allowed to look at all of this for a long time, until everything faded away. I think the Lord and heard the voice say, Amen. And the light disappeared slowly out of the chapel, 8th of December, 1978. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, the light came from the four corners of the chapel, over the altar and the priest, and then spread slowly over all the people present. At the consecration, the light shone only over the altar and the priest, and we were in the shade. But afterwards, it spread again over all of us. Never before, had I seen the light so glaring, so brilliant and bright. I could hardly look at it, for it pained my eyes. On receiving our Lord, I beheld a heavenly vision. A radiant figure, more beautiful than ever, said to me, Come, follow me. We came to an endless plain. In its center was a high mountain with a ladder leaning against it. The radiant figure said to me, Climb this mountain. I mounted the ladder, rung by rung, headed by the radiant figure, who floated up the ladder without even touching the rungs. On reaching the top of the mountain, I saw that this top was covered with a black cloth. The radiant figure gave a sign and four male heavenly beings appeared from the four quarters of the mountain. I was inwardly told, These are the four evangelists. They took the black cloth away and I heard the radiant figure calling, Ye nations, rejoice. Then I saw a white veil lying over the mountain. Again the radiant figure gave a signal and the four evangelists reappeared from the four quarters of the mountain, and removed that white veil too. The voice called once more. Rejoice. Now I saw the radiant figure, gliding aloft with outstretched arms and joined feet, and then, turning into a majestic, brilliantly shining cross. Two heavenly beings emerged from the east and the west side of the mountain. They both had something in their hands and they made for the mountain top. I saw that each of them was carrying a large tree, which they placed simultaneously in the middle of the top, so that the number 33, was to be seen. After that, two more heavenly beings emerged from the north and the south side of the mountain. They too were carrying something. I saw it was some kind of leaves, which they arranged simultaneously, round the number 33. It was a laurel wreath. From the shining cross, the voice sounded. It is accomplished. I started weeping, and heard the voice say, Do not cry, my daughter, but rejoice. The voice stopped for a moment, and resumed. The revelation about this time, which I have shown you, have come to pass, and will continue to pass. After a pause, the voice continued. Carry on, with the help of those whom, I have chosen to accomplish your task. I called, my Lord, how can I do that? And the voice spoke. The Spirit will assist you, and give instructions. The light will continue coming in the sacred residence. It will be a place for the Lord, and for her whom I have sent. Then I heard the voice calling. Rejoice! Ye nations. Now I saw, the radiating cross, rising higher and higher, and after a last bright glitter, everything disappeared from my sight. I thank the Lord intensely, 2nd of February, 1979. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, the light came over the altar and the priest. It was a magnificent bright light, which spread slowly over all those present. At the consecration, I saw the light shining only over the altar and the priest, whereas we were in the shade. But, after the consecration, 
it spread again over all present and the whole chapel was full of light, until the end of Holy Mass. 11th of February, 1979. At the offertory, during Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw a heavenly light proceeding from the painting of the Lady of All Nations. It settled above the altar. At the consecration, the light came from the four corners of the chapel, shining over the altar and the priest. It stayed till after our Holy Communion. Then I saw the light fade away. 22nd of March, 1979. As I received Holy Communion, during Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw the Sacred Host radiating brightly. When placed on my tongue, it started moving and I tasted drafts of delicious water. The Sacred Host grew larger and larger, and felt as if alive. This lasted quite a time, until the Sacred Host was consumed. 24th of March, 1979. On receiving Holy Communion, during Holy Mass in the chapel, I had exactly the same experience as yesterday, 25th of March, 1979. During Holy Mass in the chapel, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priests at the offertory. Then it spread very slowly over all those present. During the consecration, the light was shining only over the altar and the priests, whereas, we were in the shade. But after the consecration, I saw the light shining again over all people present. When I went to Holy Communion, I saw the Sacred Host radiating like dazzling white, translucent fire. It started moving when placed on my tongue, and then felt as if alive, and I tasted flows of delicious water, while I heard, This is the contact that will remain. Then it was as if the voice spoke to other people, and I heard, You are on the right road. Suddenly, I very clearly saw Pope John Paul II, standing in front of me, and at his side, Monsignor V.L., together with another prelate whom I did not know. The voice spoke, Now prepare the way, for her, towards him. And I saw a finger pointing to the Pope. Just then, the delicious water in my mouth stopped flowing and the sacred host was consumed. I felt a very close bond with the Lord during these three days and I thanked the Lord from the bottom of my heart. Then I saw the light, which was still shining over all of us slowly fading away, 12th of April, 1979. Maundy Thursday. During Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw the light coming over the priest and the altar. At the elevation of the Sacred Host, I suddenly saw, within the light, above the altar, a radiant cross, glittering like a diamond with four limbs of equal length, and a small cross at every corner. After the elevation of the chalice, the radiant cross disappeared slowly from within the light. When I had received our Lord, the sacred host started moving on my tongue and I had drafts of delicious water. Then the sacred host became alive and I heard, I am, that I am. At the end of the Holy Mass, the light slowly disappeared, 15th of May. 1979. During Holy Mass in the chapel, and after receiving our Lord, I heard very clearly, as many as three times, the time signal of Vatican Radio, Christus Vincit. Christus Renat. Christus Imperat, 31st of May, 1979. During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the offertory, I saw the light come and shine over the altar and the priest. Then it spread slowly over all the people present. But at the consecration, the light settled above the altar and radiated over the priest. Within this light appeared, a radiant crown with a letter M, in front of it. Both were glittering like brilliance. The consecration being over, the crown and the letter M, faded away from within the light and, out of sight. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I felt a finger being put to my lips and it was as if my lips were sealed. Then I heard the voice saying, The Netherlands will be revived, through her whom I have sent. Implore the Spirit of Truth. The voice paused for a moment and continued, The Holy Father will proclaim her, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. The voice spoke with emphasis. Tell him this, 
Then, after a lot of despair and sadness, I felt restful and peace came slowly into my heart concerning the church and the faith. The light stayed until the end of Holy Mass, 22nd of June, 1979. At the consecration during Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest and then slowly spreading over all of us. On receiving our Lord, the Sacred Host began moving on my tongue, and it felt as if alive. I tasted flows of delicious, heavenly water. Never before, had I experienced this so intensely as today. I felt that the Lord was present in a very special way. Meanwhile, I had a vision and suddenly stood in front of a beautiful golden gate. It was a pale gold color, and in the middle of the gate I saw, a heart-shaped sign of a darker kind of gold. The gate opened slowly and I heard the voice saying, Please come in. I did as I was told and came into a beautiful breathtaking surrounding where heavenly music was playing. The voice echoed throughout the space. Rejoice. After a while I heard the voice calling again, but this time much louder. Rejoice, ye nations. And the heavenly music now sounded even more glorious to my ears. I had been listening to it for quite a while. Then a voice came out of the clouds calling. Thanks to your Lord and Creator. It has been fulfilled. I thank the Lord from the bottom of my heart. Then the vision faded away and so did the light. 23rd of June, 1979. During the consecration at Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw a beautiful ray of light coming from the painting of the Lady of All Nations. That light stayed until the end of Holy Mass, 15th of August, 1979. During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. At the consecration, a radiant cross emerged from within the light, and a large, brilliant sacred host appeared in front of it. Under the right arm of the cross, I saw a crown appearing, surrounded by beautiful stars. I counted twelve of them. The consecration being finished, the crown with the stars and then the cross with the sacred host, disappeared slowly from my sight, and the light spread over all those present. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass. After receiving our Lord, I heard the voice say, I have told you, this period is terminated. And it was as if I heard a door being slammed. Then the voice continued and spoke to me. Open your ears and eyes, and keep your lips closed. And then it happened, as always in a vision, that I felt a change in my eyes and ears. But this time my lips seemed to be tightened and I felt within me a profound stillness. I heard the voice say, Understand well what I shall show you. Suddenly, I saw the Vatican in front of me, and I heard, You, Cephas, my Peter, you will have to wage a fierce struggle. Yet you will persevere and do what has to be done. To defend the true doctrine. Be sure to insist on celibacy, for that is the strength of your church. Remind your priests. They will have to cooperate in rebuilding the church. Then I saw, long rows of men coming along, who all were carrying something in their hands. I saw that it was stones they were carrying. Watching more closely, I could see they were bishops and priests who started building. And all at once a beautiful rebuilt church stood before me and I had to say, and yet, nothing has changed. And the voice spoke from the clouds. My Peter, bring the glorified lady, the lady of all nations, into your churches. She will lead the nations to her Lord, to whom she was allowed to give birth by the will of the Father. Then I felt a revival coming in my heart and a joyful feeling. I thanked the Lord with all my heart. At the same time, the string of my lips was loosed and my eyes and ears turned normal as before. Holy Mass was ended and the light faded away, 2nd of September, 1979. On this Sunday morning, I clearly heard the voice say, Do you want to go away too? In the evening, I heard the voice again calling as many as several times at intervals. Hagar! 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 8th of September, 1979. At the offertory, during Holy Mass in the chapel, 
I saw the light come from the four corners of the chapel and shine over the altar and the priest. Afterwards, it spread over all those present. On receiving our Lord I heard the voice say, Rejoice, my people, my hour has come. At the end of Holy Mass, the light faded away. 7th of October, 1979 During Holy Mass at the Offertory, I saw the light come from the four corners of the chapel. It was shining over the altar and the priest, and after a while, spread over all those present. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass and then faded away. 8th of December, 1979 During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the consecration, the light came over the altar and the priest and in that light, a beautiful, radiant crown appeared. It was more beautiful and radiant than ever before. After the consecration, the crown slowly disappeared from within the light, which then spread over all the people present, and stayed till the end of Holy Mass. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I was standing on a beach and saw, a wild, stormy sea before me. There was a terrible gale, and the waves were running very high. In the distance a fishing boat loomed up. I got afraid, for I realized that this boat was unable to make headway against the storm. Gradually, the boat came nearer, and I observed that it heeled to the left, owing to the storm. As the boat drew still closer, I saw to my astonishment that it was a Dutch fishing boat, where our Holy Father, the Pope, was holding the helm and some cardinals and bishops were sitting. The storm was very violent, and I saw the Pope had a lot of trouble, because the boat was tossed about in all directions. Black heavy clouds were hanging over the boat. But, suddenly, a splendid beam of light radiated down from the clouds and lightened the entire boat. I heard the voice calling from the sky, and it sounded like a command. Turn your helm to the right and hold it firmly. The voice paused for a moment and continued. Keep your course straight, and you will safely reach the shore. And really, I saw, our Pope, turning the helm to the right with all his strength, and at once the storm died down, and the sea was immediately quiet. Now I saw the fishing boat coming to the beach in a straight line. The Pope, the cardinals, and the bishops disembarked and, to my astonishment, the beach had turned into St. Peter's Square, and I clearly saw St. Peter's and the Vatican before me. I heard the voice say, Convey this, tell him. I thank the Lord and then everything slowly disappeared from my sight. 6th of January, 1980 During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the consecration, the light came over the altar and the priest. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. A big strong tree was standing in front of me. From ground level grew a large, heavy side branch, which spread forth into smaller branches. Suddenly, I saw someone approaching rapidly, with other men following. The group stopped near the tree, and I saw clearly that it was our Holy Father, Pope John Paul II accompanied by some cardinals on either side. The Holy Father looked at the tree with deep concern. He raised his head and I heard him say, My Lord, what am I to do? Immediately, a very strong light came from the sky over the Holy Father, and I heard the voice say, My Cephas, you have called unto me. Listen. Remove the side branch from the tree for you will find that there already was destruction in the roots of this branch. It has been infested by the worms of death. Then I heard the Holy Father ask, My Lord, how can I manage that? The voice answered, I shall help you. Look. And I saw a powerful flash of lightning, followed by a terrible thunderbolt, which struck that side branch, and severed it from the tree. With a heavy crash the side branch fell on the ground just before the feet of the Holy Father and the Cardinals. Small and bigger branches which had fallen off that tall side branch, lay scattered everywhere. I heard the voice speaking again, Take up the side branch, and see how it is worm-eaten. Have a good look at it. I saw how the Holy Father and the Cardinals did their utmost in lifting the heavy side branch. Worms were creeping out of it. 
in the bark of the branch, I saw the letter N, carved in behind it, humanism, Marxism, modernism. Then, the branch turned into a coffin, and on that coffin, I saw the letter S, twice, and some other letters. The voice spoke. Do you see the destruction? Now things are going to be all right, for the tree can flourish again and bear rich fruit. Then the voice said to me. Come, we go on, watch and listen. I had the feeling that my lips were being locked, and suddenly I was standing in a hall. I saw the Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, sitting there, with, on his right and left, some cardinals and other high-ranking ecclesiastics. A door opened, and I saw some bishops coming in. I counted seven. One of them walked in front. To my dismay, most of them were wearing a mask and all carried a kind of plate, with a letter on it in their hands. The one who had the letter U, on his plate. He knelt down before the Pope, and turned his plate slowly towards the Holy Father. I saw that it was a mirror. Then, a marvelous light from on high descended upon the Holy Father. I heard the voice speaking to him. Watch well, they show you a mirror image. And look, they wear masks, and behind the masks, they hide their real faces. The voice stopped for a moment and continued imploringly. My Peter, I warn you. Keep the staff in your hands. Start building up again. Meanwhile, the other bishops came nearer, one after the other, and knelt down before the Holy Father. Each of them carried a plate with a letter on it. They all turned their plates and showed their mirrors to the Holy Father. On their plates I read the letters in the following sequence, the letter H, then B, and a letter G. Then came a bishop with half a mask and no letter. And finally two bishops followed without mirrors and masks. Over their head I discern the Roman numeral 6. I saw that the Holy Father raised these two bishops from their kneeling positions, and I heard him say, My sons, persevere, make a firm stand. I will send you shepherds. He spoke these words almost whispering, yet I could understand them. Then unrest arose among all of them. There is nothing further I could see, for all of a sudden everything faded away, while I heard, Convey all this. I asked the Lord to help me to pass it on accurately. Thereupon, the light disappeared slowly from my view, 2nd of February, 1980. During Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw the light coming at the offertory. It was shining only over the altar and the priest till the end of the consecration, and then it spread over all those present. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision. I heard the voice say, Come along and watch. Listen to what I shall tell you and pass it on correctly. At once I was standing in St. Peter's Square and I clearly saw St. Peter's and the Vatican before me. Crumbled stones were lying in front of St. Peter's and the Vatican. Suddenly, a whirlwind blew across the square. I could hardly keep standing on my feet because of the gale. Nowhere, I could hold on, and I shouted, My Lord, save me. At once the gale stopped and silence fell around. A splendid, heavenly light radiated all over the square and I heard the voice calling from the clouds. So when, the purification has passed, the twig can shoot again and grow into a tree with mighty roots. And in the center of the square, I saw a small twig sprouting from the soil. Watching carefully, I saw it growing taller and in no time, a mighty tree was standing in front of me. I heard the voice calling all over the square. My people, you must implore the Father. Ask him for a good apostles, priests, and the Church of Rome will regain its strength. Then the voice stopped for a moment, and while I saw our Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, I heard. And you, my supreme pastor, I shall open your eyes and ears still more. You will be the master builder of the present time, and the coming generation. I did not see the crumbled stones before St. Peter's and the Vatican any longer, and I was at peace within my heart. While everything faded away from my view, I thanked the Lord and prayed, Please, my Lord, help me to pass on accurately all these happenings.
then the light disappeared slowly from my sight, 25th of March, 1980. 35 years after the first apparition. During Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw that the painting of the Lady of All Nations was surrounded with heavenly light. Above the painting appeared a splendid crown, which radiated in all directions. At the consecration, the light came over the altar and the priest, and I saw a beam of light from the painting, fusing with the light over the altar. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision and heard the voice say, Come, follow me and watch. At once I was standing in St. Peter's and clearly saw St. Peter's in the Vatican. In the center of the square, I saw a golden stem with a bud on it, sprouting from the soil. While I watched, the golden bud unfolded itself. Petal after petal opened and the bud grew gradually into a big, beautiful golden rose. Then I saw our Holy Father. Pope John Paul II, with a few cardinals and some other ecclesiastics, coming down the stairs of St. Peter's. The Holy Father was carrying something in his hands, they all stopped in front of the golden rose. The cardinals were standing at the right side, the others at the left side of the Holy Father. One cardinal beckoned me to stand at his side. Now I could see that the Holy Father was holding a crown in his hands. Suddenly, the golden rose turned into the image of the Lady of All Nations. The Holy Father stepped towards the image and placed the crown on the top of it. Then he joined his hands and stood in front of it, praying quietly. From the sky I heard the voice calling. And then, the church, the community that you are watching now, will return and flourish again. Then I saw the Holy Father and his following return to the Vatican. After this vision faded away, I thank the Lord. The light, which had been shining in the chapel over all those present, also disappeared slowly, 3rd of April, 1980. In the evening, during the solemnity of Maundy Thursday, at the consecration, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread slowly over the people present and stayed until the end of the ceremony. Before I went to Holy Communion, I saw a heavenly vision. I was walking in a narrow street of Jerusalem, and a radiant figure was going ahead of men. He said to me, Come, follow me. I followed him through that narrow street, and as we reached its end, the vision suddenly changed. Now I saw the radiant figure going ahead of me in our chapel, towards the priest who was administering Holy Communion. When I came to kneel before the priest in order to receive our Lord, the radiant figure had vanished. I received the sacred host, which began living on my tongue, while I heard, Thus, I want to be brought among mankind, from the hands of ordained priests. Ordained priests, was said with strong emphasis. I felt very intimately and more closely united with the Lord than usual. Then the light disappeared very slowly out of sight, and I thank the Lord, 25th of May, 1980. Wood Sunday. During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the consecration, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest in three beams, which then slowly, like a folding fan, joined into on grand lustrous light, which then spread over all those present. When I received Holy Communion, I saw a heavenly vision and heard the voice say, Come follow me, and convey my message to him for whom it is meant. Then right away I stood in St. Peter's Square, and I saw and heard a terrible storm coming over St. Peter's and the Vatican. A heavy rainfall followed. However, watching more closely, I saw the raindrops over St. Peter's were like white fire, yet those over the Vatican, like normal fire. Suddenly, I saw a person dressed all in white standing on the steps of St. Peter's. He stood with his back to me, and was watching the fire rain. All at once, the rain over the Vatican transformed into letters. First, the letter V, appeared, and one by one other letters followed, until I could read, Vaticanum II. I felt as if there came a clip on my lips and I heard, My Peter, look what has happened. The person dressed in white on the steps of St. Peter's turned around, 
and I now saw that he was our Holy Father, Pope John Paul II. He looked up as if listening, while these words were spoken, and the voice continued. Watch carefully. A large map unrolled before us. Some countries I could distinctly see. The Netherlands, France, Germany, and Belgium, but other countries I saw in a haze. Then the map was folded again, and suddenly turned into a large prairie. A flock of sheep was grazing there peacefully. Then I heard the clattering sound of hooves approaching. A great number of white and black horses came galloping along. They scattered the flock and chased the sheep, which were thrown into complete confusion. The Holy Father too, was watching very attentively. From the sky, the voice shouted, Look what has happened. They have bolted like savage horses, and are driving my flock to despair. You Peter, must restrain them with the doctrine which is, and will always remain. These last words, which is and will always remain, were heard echoing three times, all over St. Peter's Square. The voice spoke. Look, where it began. The voice paused a moment and then continued. Beware of the wolves, my Peter. They come to you concealed in a sheepskin. Go through with your shepherd's crook. Now I saw the Holy Father, head down, going back to the Vatican. Then everything faded away from my view, including the light. I, thank the Lord, 31st of May, 1980. During Holy Mass in the chapel, at the consecration, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. Within that light, left and right, the following symbols appeared. A large M, with a small cross in each of the four corners, and a large cross with a small cross in each of the four corners. They stayed until the consecration was over. Then the light spread over all those present. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision. A very big book was being placed in front of me. It was locked by two gold-colored clasps, and a sealed paper was placed on it. The voice spoke. Look how she is radiating. And I saw, the glorified lady, so glaring that it hurt my eyes. The lady was all light and sparkle. I heard the voice say, The Holy Spirit will enlighten you further. Then everything faded away, but the light stayed till the end of Holy Mass. 15th of August, 1980. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread over all those present and stayed till the end of Holy Mass. 8th of September, 1980. During Holy Mass there was a strong, delicious fragrance of roses in the whole chapel. That sweet scent emanated from the painting of the Lady of All Nations. This I noticed when passing the painting which was surrounded by light. 8th of December, 1980. During Holy Mass in our chapel, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread over all those present and only at the end of Holy Mass, I saw it fading out of sight. 2nd of February, 1981. During Holy Mass at the Offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread over everyone present. And I saw the painting of the Lady, also radiating with light. It remained till the end of Holy Mass, 11th of February. 1981. During Holy Mass at the Offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread slowly over all those present. I had a feeling as if that light were completely penetrating me, and I heard the voice say, The light will enlighten you. After the Agnes di I suddenly saw the Lady of All Nations, standing between the altar and the tabernacle. She was beaming with light. I saw her as in those days when she was giving me her messages, but this time without the cross, sheep and globe. I could hardly believe my eyes, but the lady began to speak and I heard clearly. Do you understand now for what purpose I did come? She paused for a moment and continued. The moral decline in the church, and in the world, is in full progress. The disasters in the church and in the world are coming about. 
and the wars are still going on. She paused again and resumed. My lord sent me to warn them of all this, but they did not want to listen. Then the lady turned towards the tabernacle, and pointed to it with her right hand, saying, Tell your supreme pastor that I will take them to him, through me to him. But, they must repent. The Eucharist still exists. She looked at me and said, Be comforted, your sacrifice has been accepted. Then everything faded out of sight. 25th of March, 1981. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. It was as if the painting of the Lady of All Nations, were standing in a special light. After the consecration, the light spread over all those present, and stayed till the end of Holy Mass, 16th of April, 1981. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, on this evening of Maundy Thursday, I saw the light, coming at the offertory with a beautiful, radiating cross within. The light was shining over the altar and the priest. After the consecration, it spread over all the people present. Just as I was about to go to communion, I had a vision and heard, Come, follow me. I saw the radiant figure, who beckoned me. I rose to go to the communion rail, but in my vision I walked in a street of Jerusalem, following that radiant figure, who said to me, Now I leave everything in the hands of this priest. And suddenly the radiant figure had disappeared, and I received our Lord out of the hand of the priest. The light stayed, till the end of the celebration, 15th of May, 1981. Friday. After the attack on the life of Pope John Paul II, in St. Peter's Square, on Wednesday, May 13, 1981, when he was seriously wounded, I immediately prayed for him, and again on Thursday during Holy Mass. But on May 15, when I started praying for the Pope after receiving Holy Communion, I inwardly heard the following words, and so I prayed, Lord Jesus Christ, place your blessed hands on his wounds and he will recover. All at once, I saw a ray of light coming down and, while I felt as if someone were putting a finger on my lips, I heard the voice say, Do not be distressed, and be comforted. He will recover. Then the light faded away. On that same day and in the following days, I repeatedly heard over the radio, and the television, the message that Pope John Paul II, was in peril of death, 31st of May, 1981. At Holy Mass in our chapel, during the creed, and praying, at Incarnatus Estate de Spiritus Sancto, I saw a lustrous light approaching and within that light, this symbol, with a large radiating star in its center, to the right of the star was a large cross, with a small cross in each of the four corners. The same appeared on the left hand side of the star which was in the center, that is in the middle. This symbol was shining above the altar and the priests, remaining till the end of the consecration. Then, the light spread over all those present and stayed till the end of Holy Mass. At the Holy Communion of the Priests, I saw a heavenly vision. I was standing in a large, hilly area, where I saw several golden idols, with human and animal heads. Large groups came walking along, singing in a monotonous fashion. They knelt before these idols and prayed with uplifting arms, and repeatedly bending forward. They were dressed in various loose tunics, some with a rope tied around the waist. They walked barefoot, and a number of them had a piece of cloth halfway up their legs. Suddenly, an infernal clamor came from the sky, and I saw these idols collapsing like a house of cards. The people fled away screaming, all over the plain and the hills. Now I stood alone, with the landscape before me, turning round several times, and within me I heard, This relates, to a later epic, to a later time. Then from every quarter came men, women, and children, cheering and singing. They were dressed differently from the former groups. They wore long garments, some with head cloths, and bands around their heads and sandals on their feet. In the center of the plain, I now saw a temple with huge golden idols and various shapes inside. On the front, at the top of the temple, 
I saw sculptured, monster heads. Inside, people were burning incense, and I heard them praying in another language, as the former groups. They too, bowed low before these golden idols. Suddenly, I heard a frightening rumble coming from the earth. A terrible thunder and lightning burst out above the temple. The earth trembled so that the temple was tottering and suddenly fell into ruins. A few parts of the columns still stood upright. The people fled away in panic, screaming loudly. Now again I stood alone, and saw the hilly landscape turning round before my eyes. I heard inwardly. This was to happen later. And again there was a temple, but it was built in a different style from the former one. On its front, at the top, I saw words and strange characters. On the steps and inside, I saw men with various tunics and different features, and heard inwardly. These are Romans, Jews, and other people. They were involved in vehement and loud discussions. And this temple too, I saw being destroyed with tremendous noise, thunder and lightning. The fragments were lying all around. Yet again, I was standing alone in that hilly landscape. Suddenly, I saw other groups of men, fiercely fighting one another. They had on various kinds of tunics, some of them wore a sort of loin cloth, or a waist cloth of plated tissue or metal. I saw several men with spears in their hands and others had a rope, with a round stone attached to its end. With these objects they were fighting one another. They fought also in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was awful to look at. Watching, I heard inwardly. These are Gentiles, fighting Christians and Jews. All this disappeared from my view, and again I stood alone in that landscape. Then some men dressed in long garments came along. They had a sort of cloak over their left shoulder. I counted twelve of them. A radiant figure walked ahead. The man in front, turned to me and said. Come, let us go to the Pascha. And at once, we were walking in a narrow street with all sorts of people. In my vision, I followed them through that narrow street, but, suddenly, the men had vanished, and I was going towards the priest who was giving Holy Communion. I received our Lord, not knowing who gave it to me. Back in my place, I saw the Lady of all nations, with cross, globe, and sheep. She appeared very clearly out of a light, between the tabernacle and the altar. I was very much excited by seeing her, and I was unaware of my surroundings. The lady began to speak very slowly and clearly. She said, The Lord has sent me to you for the last time, in this temple of sacrifice and prayer, in order, to warn you all. The time has come. She looked ahead and continued, I have always set you an example to lead you to him as the first one among his sheep, and I was allowed to bring the prayer for all nations. Keep praying. Then she spoke with strong emphasis and seriously. Be faithful to your church, the Church of Rome. Be faithful to Cephas, Peter your Pope. Repent. Now she seemed to look into the distance, and resumed. I told you, I shall not leave you orphans. I did come back. And she went on saying, he, the spirit of truth, will save the world if you keep on imploring. Turning her head towards me, she said, Pass on accurately all that I now have told you. The lady paused for a moment, and I heard her say, in a comforting manner, Farewell, until eternity. With these words, she bid me farewell. As I saw her slowly disappear from within the light, I felt a terrible emptiness and sadness in my heart. Then I realized that the sacred host was still unconsumed on my tongue, so I consumed it. The whole vision impressed me profoundly. I thanked the Lord, and the Lady, and implored, Please, don't forsake us, 23rd of June, 1981. When I awoke this morning, I had a premonition, as if something was to happen, and I wondered what it could be. That feeling returned frequently which led me to think it must be something extraordinary. Yet I had no inkling of what it could be. 15th of August, 1981. During Holy Mass in our chapel, at the offertory, 
I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. At the Agnes D, the light settled between the altar and the tabernacle and while there, changed into a beautiful, crystal clear fountain, which spouted in every direction. After Holy Communion of the Faithful, the fountain faded away and I saw again, the light, which now had spread over all those present. It stayed until the end of Holy Mass. 25th of March, 1984 During Holy Mass, at Holy Communion in our chapel, I saw the light coming and spreading over all those present. After receiving our Lord, and when back in my place, I had a heavenly vision. I heard the voice saying clearly, The period of the Lady of all nations, as co-redemptrix, is drawing near. Heavenly music sounded in my ears, and I saw a lustrous crown, sparkling like diamonds. Then everything faded away, and the light disappeared slowly.